Well, there's a lot of talk these days about big data. So the huge demand for integrating a very large number of data sources. And the problem we're trying to solve is to do data curation at scale. And historically, the traditional techniques would do data curation on 10 data sources, and we want to do it on 1,000 or 10,000. We are getting into a, an era where many of our decisions are automated, and the automation is based on, on some input data. So if the data is dirty, whatever decision we make may be uh, wrong. And this is always the question I get. So why did you let the errors get in in the first place? And there are many reasons. Sometimes you don't have choice because you are bringing data from multiple sources and you need to put them together. You need to integrate them. And why you think this process of integration, the errors will come up? Because if you do data curation, you first got to ingest the data from wherever it is into some common place. As often as not, you've got to transform it into common units, sort of euros to dollars or you know meters to feet or whatever. You've then got to clean the data. Because when you saw the data uh, separately, by themselves they look fine, but when you put them together, you start to see inconsistency. I mean, putting the wrong zip code to, to the wrong address or putting the wrong telephone number to the, to, the, to the wrong company. Or I'm Mike Stonebreaker in one database and I'm Michael R. Stonebreaker in another database. All of that stuff is basically cleaning issues. One of the hardest problems that you face is that when you have the data, there is no easy way to know why your data has problems. You cannot, I mean, you as a human, you can't look at millions of records. There is no way on earth you can do that. You've got to avoid manually intervening with skilled programmers. So you've got to make the majority of the decisions automatically using AI, using machine learning and, and statistical techniques. If you look at what exists uh, today, I mean, there many, many of the solutions focus on very specific problems and they're usually scattered and you cannot go and buy a data cleaning system easily. Also, with the advent of large-scale data, many of those tools cannot scale. I mean, they just cannot cope with the, the amount of data that is being uh, generated. So there are solutions, but they're not satisfactory. That was the purpose of the project. Uh, when we set out to start working on it. So the team of us started building a scalable data curation system. In the two years that we built a prototype, we found out that this was a problem that many, many commercial organizations wanted solved. So with QCRI and MIT's blessing, we formed a commercial company three years ago, and it's doing quite well. Then the intent sort of morphed into specific topics in the data curation process. And now we're moving on to you know, much more general cleaning. So ultimately, we want to build the, the state-of-the-art curation tools. So we will be the reference when it comes to data curation and data cleaning. Hopefully we'll achieve it, but it's also, it will be also hard. I'm delighted to work with my collaborators at QCRI. They're great collaborators. They're, they're smart and energetic. And I think we produce much, much better results much faster than, than either organization could do by themselves. So as I, say, I think when in any collaboration, so you bring in uh, different expertise, and we're working with Mike Stoneberg, so he's the world leader when it comes to database and implementing, uh, building real system. And uh, I think in the last few years, we have built a very strong expertise here in-house at QCRI in terms of data cleaning and data quality. So this brings in a lot of value to the collaboration. The other thing we are getting also is that when you work with someone like Mike, is that you get focused on, the, on just real problems from real use cases. He has a lot of contacts talking to customers and to company. And these are the real problems that you need to solve if you want to make an impact in the, out there. The worst thing that can ever happen in the research world is for you to actually solve the problem completely because then you're done, which means that the problem you were working on was too easy. The thing that's really nice about scalable data integration is that you know that it, it's it's like an iceberg that you you chip away at it. So I'm I'm not expecting that to be a solved problem at the end of seven years.